substituting values into algebraic expressions. We need to be able to solve questions where they've given us an algebraic expression, like 5 outside of 2x minus 4 in brackets, and then they've told us what the letter value should be. x should be 20. We do this by substituting the x or the unknown value in and then using our calculator to work out what it is. So for perfect working, we'd start by writing our expression 5 outside of 2x minus 4 equals and then we're going to rewrite it but we're going to put the value of x in in the correct way where the x is. So this will be 5 outside of, which has an invisible times, now 2x means 2 times x. You'll remember that 2x has an invisible time sign. And there's an invisible time sign when there's a number outside brackets as well. So you've got to put the time sign back in. 2 times 20 minus 4. And then you might as well rely on your calculator and the brackets and all the other parts of it, like fractions, whatever comes in handy, to do 5 bracket 2 times 20 plus 4, finish your bracket, and we've got 220. So your steps are to substitute in the value of x, or the unknown, whatever letter they've given it. Remember, say for example, 3x is 3 times x. You've got to get that right. We couldn't substitute in 220. This would be 220 minus 4. That wouldn't work at all. And evaluate with your calculator. So this example, calculate the value of 3x squared divided by 2 when x is 10.5. Write the expression, put our equal sign, rewrite it with the correct value in here. Now remember this is 3x, that will be 3 times, substitute in 10.5, I've got to square that, and then I've got to divide all that by 2. Use your calculator for it. Use your fraction key. 3 times 10, oops, 10.5 squared over 2. And I've got 165.375. So all we need to be able to do is substitute in the value that we've been given for the letter. Remember to put any missing time signs in and use the calculator.